Um, hey, look. It's Kappa. He's going to help me test if I... Well, apparently, I haven't completely broken everything. Okay, here's a capture. Oh, it didn't make the capture noise. Nor did that. Well, let me force refresh. Maybe next time I make a capture. Probably not. So, hmm, I have to think about, is JavaScript passed by reference or passed by value? Does anybody know? I don't think anybody knows. Yeah, uh, I was testing out the capture noises. No, I was really definitely aware that I was giving away a piece here. There we go, I found the knight. It's right there. Ooh, JavaScript is references passed by value. Yep, that, that sounds right. And by that I mean that sounds so completely horribly terrible that if that is the case, well, we're better off just inventing a new language. But that probably is the case, just given what a load JavaScript is. Basically what I'm trying to figure out is why didn't that captured uh, reference get set to anything? I mean, surely the moves are getting executed. I just don't know. I shouldn't have to look at the board before the move and see, like, was there a piece on a square at that time? Oh, hey, look, I can't take that. Uh, let's block the... Oh. Well, this is okay scary at first. It's actually okay. Yeah, I got one right. So we got the move sound works, we got the check sound working, but I don't have captures working. And I'm just confused why move.captured is apparently not set when a capture occurs. Apparently just somehow the move that's part of the request is not the same one that's getting populated as part of the do move operation of the chess ground board. Ooh, hey look! We have an awesome knight here. Okay, sure. We can do that. Uh, so material's kind of equal-ish again. Um, let's just develop normally. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Also, it'd be kind of cool if I added a castling noise. I like how Chessmaster has this amazing timpani noise that plays every time you castle. It's just so dramatic. It's so over the top. Uh, let's just move the knight for no reason whatsoever. Okay, I see how it is. Fine, I'll have to get my bishop out of the way. I keep forgetting that the rook can take that. Wait, wait, what's going on here? This could have been so much better if I had just developed first. Alright, so what's our material situation like? Apparently, 
Oh, I'm actually up an exchange. But that's not going to last, because that bishop is awesome. Um, I'm just tucking my king away to safety. Not conjuring any threats at all. Yep, definitely not attacking this pawn. And by this pawn, I mean the king is uh, the more obvious target. Um, okay, here we go. So now we got queen and rook versus queen and bishop. Which is actually pretty nice for the queen and rook. I've got to find a better way to develop this, though. There's just so much potential for my king to get exposed. Um, here, let's just drop the queen back. Your goodest game. I'm sure it's an excellent game. We'll look at that over here. Let's see what kind of game it was. E4, E7. Okay, we got a French. A French with G5. Ooh, that's special. And then F6 and Bishop H6. It's quite a game there. I see there was a bit of a stumble around knight a3. Oh, well no, Stockfish is just saying that. Um, wow, that's quite the advanced king. That's pretty awesome. Okay, let's just quietly develop the rook over. Oh my goodness. Well, that's a learning experience, maybe. Okay. Hanging this one on purpose. Honestly, I thought last turn that this is defended, but here's the point. Is that this is a fork. Oh, awesome. Ah, right. So, for those unfamiliar... In relay chess, pieces move a bit differently. Ah, castle mate is always a fun move to play. Well, let's see. Did I lose my internet connection again? No. Okay, I just won this on time. Yep, GG. Although I think by the end I had a decent position here. So yeah, um, because the queen defends the rook, the rook now gains queen powers. So it's really important to make your queen sort of active, but not make it a big target at the same time. Alright, so um, Mr. Corrupted Year says that we've got some new code that we can obtain. So let me go obtain it. Get stash. Get full origin master. Type uh, uh, that. And get stash apply. And then it tells us we got a conflict, guys. Um, so here's our conflict. This is the thing that. Okay, some things got updated upstream. Oh! Nice! He got the capture thing in. Nice. So, yeah. Here's my stash changes, and there's his awesome upstream changes, which we'll accept. Oh, apparently I don't need to cache these things anymore, because um, the audio service will handle it for us. Um, uh, get status. Okay, um, so what's changed? Oh, right. 
So two things that have changed are just the IP address related things. And whether or not we have new lines at the end of our files. Because, you know, Windows and Linux um, differ. Oh, so now i got to show you guys how you... Um, you see we got um, the server. And this tells us the last few things as well as um, the status of the server. Status active and running. And so... Um, to get the server to update the code, we do stop and start, and do status and verify that the server is up and running again. And that's how I reboot the server. Or... Yeah, damn those character turns. Okay, so the new server is up and running, should have all our sounds. Should I pick up two in a bit? Let's pick this one. Oh, that, that's not going to work. How about this one? Yeah, that gets a bit overwhelming after some time. How about this? Here we go. We even got the game started noise. That's pretty nice. Nice little uh, ditty. Okay. Um, there's me. We'll see if I get my Danish Gambit in. I have no idea how good or bad the Danish Gambit is in this game. It can't be too terrible, though. Okay, next two. I've got to learn this one for keyboard. Oh, it did not take my move. Okay, I played my move again. Checks this. Yeah, I should check the server. Um. Well, server doesn't indicate very much. Um. Okay, now I see a move. I am totally asking for it the way. Oh, he's not even. Come on. Like, I leave these amazing check opportunities there. Um, just to be ridiculous. Yeah, gambits should be just ridiculously awesome in this variant. Oh, I can't play Knight F2. Okay, I'm gonna play a developing move here, guys. King G3. King G3. It develops the king. This can only end well. King g3 exposes knight takes bishop. I just couldn't resist that opportunity. And beyond that, I just develop normally. Uh, let's see. Let's bring the bishop back. I don't know, I like this king. This king is awesome. Okay. 
Check. Oh yeah, hear that check noise. Oh wait, does Queen H5 mate? Okay, just so I don't like mouse slip this, how do I do this? Just be really careful while holding down the mouse. Okay, there we go. Wait, that's not mate. How is that not mate? Oh. Drat. Okay. Hang on. Oh, but now I don't have knight takes... Ah! Okay, going back. Well. That was unfortunate. Uh, oh. This is unfortunate for another reason now. Yeah, I am aware. I am aware. Here, let's go here with the king. Okay, he took it. Oh, that's mate. Well, I totally walked into that. See, the bishop is protected by the rook, so it covers the d-file. Uh, queen covers this diagonal. The knight covers this square. And the queen protects this, so that covers this as well. And unfortunately, my king can't move like anything else, so... Yeah, he got me, guys. He got his revenge for my ridiculous wins by disconnection. Yeah, I like this. It's working really well. Yeah, King G3 is just me being silly. Honestly, it, there might even be merit to it, which is the scary thing, just given how well it develops my pieces. Uh, what was suspicious was me sacking a piece on H7, and then sacking another piece on H7, and then hanging my queen. That didn't work so well. King G3 might be okay. I mean, you put me in that position again, I'm probably playing King G3. Until it's disproven. It's just so, too awesome that you can play that, and Black's just underdeveloped. Yeah, I mean, sure, eventually his development's gonna catch up, but the King just gets out of the way of all the pieces on the back row, um, and really helps the rest of that develop. Granted, probably wiser would be just to Knight F3, then castle, then do nothing. Yeah. Yeah, the audio se service seems to work just great. It's awesome. Yeah, nicely done there. Um, here, let's play. Let's play the Fram. There's no way that the Fram could ever fail us. Okay. Just. What kind of opening have I even gotten into here? Well, it's one where he's not going to play his bishop out. I mean, if he does, I just play this. So I've come up with a counter for his opening. Just play... Um, just march all my pawns up. Okay, well, we've got to step up this music here. Let's step up the music. Here we go. It's nice how that actually dropped the melody down an octave. I didn't notice that until now. It's really clever and subtle. Well, more clever than subtle. But it's a really nice touch.
You just push all the pawns. How could this go wrong? Um, okay. Is there not a hole in this position? Here, let's just push forward. pawn chain. Um, okay. Slightly less amazing pawn chain. Still useful. Still functional. Here, let's sack the rook. Rook for two can't be too bad. Oh my goodness. How many times am I going to fall for that sort of thing? Eh, whatever. Here we go. Oh, this is protected twice. He's good at counting this stuff. Gotta give him credit where credit's due. Okay, this is still protected twice. Just make a subtle waiting move. Trust that my development can do something useful. Wait, how... I'm still not attacking. That's ridiculous. Um... Alright, we'll develop the king. Just because we can. I just see how many ridiculous moves I can get away with. Okay. All right, where are we going next, buddy? Where are we going next? Oh, that's where we're going. All right, I'm on board for that. Maybe. Let's see, do I take an F5? No. Oh man, it's so difficult not to take H8. Um, this looks so much stronger than taking the Rook though. Like ridiculously stronger. Because this doesn't move like a knight. Yeah, knights are tricky. Knights are tricky for sure. Is this mate? This is not mate. Oh my goodness. How can- Oh, wait. What? Oh, okay, I see. I see. See how it is? My pieces can't checkmate for beans. Um... Just give a check. Oh, that's pin! Damn it! <laughs> okay, let's step out of the pin. Um, sure. Okay, fine. If we want to play a real chess game, we can do that. That's kind of problematic. 
Here we go. Uh, let's step over one more. Oh, feel the despair. Yeah, that king can move like a rook. Even a rook can't get very far in this position. Wait, is bishop f8 checkmate? Is bishop f8 mate? I need to know. It's not mate. Ah threw it away. Threw it all away. Uh, all for the promise of having something that looked awesome. Uh, that's too bad. That would have been so awesome if that were made. Okay, let's go this way. might actually still win this somehow. And by might, I mean I probably am winning this. Okay, let's take another queen. Queen number two won't fail me. Maybe. Alright. It'd help if I had more than 13 seconds to think. Okay, I think I can win this. I think I got this. Yep, I got that. Phew! In hindsight, Bishop G8 was not the way to go. But, you know, what works, works. Well, that was... Man, this song is too intense. Let's calm it down a bit. After the end of this verse. Once again, lots of credit to Toby Fox for all this awesome stuff. Uh, and of course, uh, to our friend Mr. Corrupted here for... Um, coming up with um, the implementation of Relay Chess. So yeah, uh, at some point I'll have to spectate some more games of this. Uh, it's good to see that my internet connection has been somewhat stable as of the last half hour, so that's encouraging news. Yeah, maybe I should pick, like, a Friday or something. And, I mean, the other thing I should do is set up a proper Nightbot command. Um, yeah, that's understandable. should set up a proper Nightbot command that drops this link periodically here, which is just the um, dev server. And, yeah, anybody can register or log in on the dev server and stuff might be cool to try to rewrite it in something like Elm? I'm curious, what is this Elm of which you speak? I've heard of Phoenix. I've heard of all these other frameworks. Um, I've not heard of Elm. Uh, yeah, I understand that Mr. Corrupt is going for an Angular implementation. Um, oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Um, let me go fix Nightbot. Ah, Nightbot! Okay, where do I go to fix you, Nightbot? Go to nightbot.tv slash login. Then uh, we gotta do the login from the login page. And then from the login page of the login, we have to do the authorization. And then after that, we have to do... Oh, I'm actually logged in. 
I was gonna say I have to do like two more logins to actually get anywhere. Alright. Um, so let's just move this pawn up. Um, let's see, regulars. Let's add co recursion. Okay, I've added co-recursion to the whitelist. So now if he starts posting bad things, he'll get taken off the whitelist. That's just how it works. <laughs> Alright. Um, oh, we got a Slav. Here, let me play Queen's Gambit Declined and just expose my king for no reason. Um, okay. I get a sense that playing against Zvish is going to be a bit of a challenge. Uh, let's see. Let's just develop this, develop that. Change the B in the URL to a W for additional madness. What, like playing the game upside down or something? Or wait, if I put a slash W, does that mean that I get to play as white and I could choose to make white resign here? How great would that be? Um, probably doesn't mean that. Ooh, should I castle? I don't know. We're gonna take here. Hopefully this is a sensible relay chess opening. I'm so hopeful. Alright, we'll just develop the bishop. I wonder if castling is a good or a bad thing in relay chess. Um... Okay, d4 is defended. Here, let's play e5. What's the worst that could happen? Worst is probably... Oh, I'm not sure. I had a theory, and then I have to redact it. Um... Okay. Oh my goodness. I am so bad at this variant. So bad. You'd think that after falling for stuff like that a thousand times, that thousand and first time, I wouldn't fall for it. <sighs> okay, that's cool. The one thing I'm kind of angling to learn at some point would actually be Phoenix Framework. Um, Although, I don't really have a good appreciation for it yet, and so maybe I could be influenced to pick up something else instead. Okay. Well, let's just play this back here. And then maybe... Maybe I'll have the common sense and sensibility to castle. Ah, uh, common sense. Um, got to go back and defend this again. Well, so here's the thing. I know Scala to an extent. I don't know all the syntactic sugar, but I get the concept of a functional programming language. Um, and so, I don't think picking up Elixir, from what I've read of Elixir so far, I don't think it's picking that up is a big deal. Um, just that, given that I have some background in Scheme and in Scala, I think I could pick up Elixir without, or at least enough to make something work without um, too much hassle. Okay, I'm missing something here. And probably what I'm missing is just the evaluation of this position.
Either that or just forgetting about the time situation. Okay. Yeah. There was, you were absolutely right to count the number of pieces that were on that square, but there was this little tactic at the end. Yeah, I was... I'm spellbound that that actually worked against Fish. He's pretty sharp. Um, hang on, this music is actually kind of overpowering now, isn't it? There we go. Now we can hear me talk. Yeah, sorry about the loud music. It's too quiet, though. Gotta pick something in between. That's fine. Oh, I can hear myself think again. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, Swish. I... I mean, that was just a bishop moving the way the bishops move. Okay, we're gonna play the fun opening here. Dude! <laughs> uh, just because we can. Oops, knight f6. There we go, that's how you move a knight to f6. Do, 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 Ah. Unfortunately, there's no, like, no take back button either. Um. <laughs> Maybe I dawdle for a little while and pretend that he castled or something. I don't know. Or maybe I just return the favor with King G8. Oops. Okay. So. I wonder, though, maybe King G1 and King G8 might be a stronger move than castling. It's possible. I don't know how likely, but it, it, the possibility is out there. Oh, am I actually doing a hedgehog by accident? I guess that's what happens when I play Queen's Indian, and I don't know what I'm doing. Is that it gets hedgehogged. Um. There's one other fun feature of these positions. We're gonna get to that other fun feature in just a second. I mean, yeah, ordinarily h6 would be just super menacing, and you'd not want to face this in a real chess game. Um, you know, I think I got something, a little something something up my sleeve here. Whee! Okay, that was too fun. Um, in other news, I can't count. Yeah, I've got too hooked on the bullet chest thing. Um, so that's my bad. So, we'll see what I can do. Given the whole addiction to bullet thing. Oh, I haven't had dinner yet. Man, got so psyched up about the relay chess thing happening. Um, well, what do I do now? I have to take that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this position's kind of crumbling just a bit. Of course it takes patience in order to actually crack it, but, um, 
but it's slowly crumbling. Okay. Yeah, might as well keep this closed. Oh dear. Um, I see things after I move. Does that count? Probably doesn't count for very much. Uh, yeah. So that's kind of a problem. Um, wait, what? Oh, I mouse slipped it. Eh, whatever. This game was lost anyhow. Alright, there go all my rating points. Well. I deservedly lost them. <laughs> yeah, GG. I should actually think about dinner. And, yeah. I know I keep saying, yeah, I'll just leave the server up and running and people could play and test on it. And the reality is that there's still not enough critical mass for people to keep playing this, I guess. I'm sure we'll hit critical mass eventually, but... Yeah. Rules. Castling is only performed by moving the king on top of the castling rook. Yeah, that's one of the actual rules of the game, is that's how castling's performed. So... Um, yeah, I'm glad we got the capture, the move, the check. It's great that all that works. Um, spectating works, not that anybody knows. But yeah, you see, like, here's zero seeks. And once somebody actually starts a game, you see it under the games and play section. Again, not that anybody knows that, because um, we just haven't hit the critical mass for this to really... Um, I don't know. I mean, my server's on 24-7, and I know um, that we just migrated the other server um, to be something a bit more stable, so that's all well and good. Um, again, sorry about the... Oh, so you see, like, there's the lobby, and you have the list of players, and your seeks, and after a game has been sought and matched, you see it under the games and play section. And that's where you can spectate games that are currently going on. Um, so, yeah, it's just there's nobody on at the moment. I mean, there's only four people logged in. I still haven't set up a proper Nightbot command for Relay Chess. Let me do that. I thought I had previously done that, and perhaps I'm just misremembering. Perhaps I did set that up at one point. I don't know. Commands. Custom. How many commands do I have anyway? I've got lots of commands. Um, add command. Yeah, no, you silly nightbot. Relay. HTTP colon slash slash relay chess dot moo dot com. And anybody can execute it. Oh. If this song, if this command is supposed to call another command, specify the other command here. Well, that's cool. Um, now, where do I set up a timer command? Uh, to do timers. Ah. Okay. Let's just add this here. Relay chest at moo.com. Say every 10 minutes and 12 lines. And enable that. That way. Okay, cool. So yeah. Now if I type exclamation point relay yep people can know where the dev site's at
So, yeah. I think all this is well and good. I should probably have dinner. And hopefully after dinner I'll be up for a game of some sort. Um, we'll see. But we have unleashed the madness, guys. Is it not great how much madness we've unleashed? Here, what's this noise? Ooh. Well, yeah. You can feel the suspense. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to be uploading this one, this session or not, or highlighting it. Um, just because a number of things went right, a number of things went wrong. One of the things that went wrong is none of you guys got to see um, Google Chrome's awesome offline game. The one where the dinosaur goes and jumps over the trees until your internet connection comes back. Unfortunately, I'm just not able to stream that one. Or at least I haven't figured out how. But yeah, that's Relay Chess. I'll have to come back some other time for Relay Chess and do a more convincing demonstration. But until then, yeah, it's been a fun session here. Despite how many pieces I've hung. Yeah, it's it, that one's a tricky one to stream. Um, you know what's not tricky? It's not tricky, it's Chess Pursuit. You know how you find Chess Pursuit? Type leechess.org slash 404. And 404 doesn't resolve to anything, resulting in the 404 page. Surrender, Black King. Your army is defeated and your queen is mine. Oh noes. You only brought knights to battle? You are surrounded. Admit defeat now and I shall be merciful. Never, as you wish. I am taking the prisoner back to the castle. Knights, capture him. I want him alive. Okay. Here we go. Chess pursuit. Can I go over the horizon? How many of these pawns can I take? Do, 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 do. Just knock out all the pawns. I'm mainly testing to see if they fix the bug where if you take too many pawns, the game crashes. Uh, come on. Uh, they've probably fixed it by now, but you never know. Oh yeah, all these pawns can eat it. Then we can take out the rook. And then take out all these rooks. And then come back for the pawns. Yeah, this doesn't even qualify as chess, I guess. Oh, wait. Okay, so we can take that and take these rooks and the pawns. Uh, okay, then, oh, can't take that. Unfortunately, some of these things cannot be taken. They're just, like, so well protected. Okay, I've not managed to break the game just yet. It's amazing how the game explains to you that some moves would be check even though the checking pieces are not yet visible. Okay. Oh, can't chase those down. Okay, we have to take those out. Um, and then go back for some pawns. Oh no, I can't take those. Those are protected. Alright. Whew! I got some chest pursuit. Oops, can't take that. I'm gonna have to go back for the rook. And then let's take the pawn. I swear, somebody's probably made a mac. Oh, I can't take that. Uh oh. Oh, shoot. Uh, that's no good. 
Uh, wait. Oops. GG.